Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Praise God, praise God. It's been a while. Praise God, praise God. Um, just wanted to get on here and actually have a lot to talk about. Um, just been in consecration, loving God, um, loving myself. Come on somebody, hallelujah. As you can see, I'm all natural. Um, no more makeup, not ever wearing it again. Um, this is just the journey that God has me on. I pray that my, let me tell you, there's a lot. I'm so full, so bear with me. Praise God. Nice to see you guys. I love you guys, miss you guys. But the journey that God has me on, and I'm supposed to be an example for everybody else. We're going home. Okay, I don't know when. God did not tell me, not even Jesus the Christ knows. But he did say prepare. How did he say prepare? In every way possible, inside and outside. So I'm on a health journey, natural journey, where women, true women of God, now I'm not trying to bash nobody, we should really represent what God is, and that is loving ourselves naturally. So no, you're not going to see me with no more makeup on, period, end of story. I'm going, he said, he say, take it off. He said, I'm just going to be real. He said, take it off. Make up. So what does it mean? It's making up something that is not of God. God made us naturally beautiful. So this is not the title of my video, but I'm just letting you know the journey that I'm going on. So that's why you see me with no makeup and you will not see me with makeup ever again in Jesus name. Praise God. So natural. And I'm going to be promoting natural because that's what we're supposed to be. I mean, think about it. God, right? He made us in his image. That way, that, that, that means that whatever he made us as, that's what we should learn. Pure end of story. Not trying to hate on nobody. Not Hey, if you're wearing whatever you're wearing, God bless you. You will process it later. Trust me. <laughs> because we all got to come to our true nature of who we are. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let me get to what is at hand. Everybody's talking about the pastor that committed suicide. My heart goes out to the family, but I'm coming from a different perspective. And you already know me, I'm radical, so I'm going to come from a place to where a lot of people may not even understand what I'm getting ready to say. Some of you may say, well, she hasn't changed. And honestly, I haven't. I'm still Apostle Deanna Dixon with the radical thoughts, with the radical word from God that most people can't handle. Just to be honest with you, hallelujah. And one of the things, and I wrote some things down just to let you know, bam, bam, right? Um, one of the things that God was sharing with me is being a leader, and this is to encourage some of the leaders, being a leader, being a minister, being a person that God has called, I need you to know it's going to be hard. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. It's going to be real hard. Okay, let me leave. It's going to be extremely hard. No, no. It's going to be some times where you really want to take your life. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's going to be some times when you're going to be alone. Oh, come on, somebody. It's going to be some times when you don't want to be bothered. Oh, come on, somebody. It's going to be some times when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Oh, come on, somebody. It's going to be some times when you don't want to serve God. It's going to be some times. Hallelujah. But my question is, and that's what I've been doing. I've been asking God. See, Dan, uh, Apostle Dan, I'm not picking our friends no more. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I'm not picking the people that, that that's supposed to be around me, that gird me, that support me, that love me. I'm letting God pick them. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. Because God needs people that are around you to say, what's wrong, Apostle? With all due respect, you ain't acting right. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. There should be somebody in that circle that can sense what you're going through, even when y'all not talking, even when you're not around. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all know I was coming. Question. How is it that his family and his friends and his colleagues didn't hear from God to know that that man was hurting? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That should be somebody in your circle that has a connection to God that says that God can say, ah, they need you. They're hurting. They're going through something. This man was suffering privately, and now everybody won't talk about him publicly. What was, what was the people that was accountable to him? 
Where were the people that was praying for him? And I'm not saying that everybody didn't do their job. I'm coming from a whole different perspective. I just want to know, you mean to tell me that God didn't tell not one person that he was hurting? You mean to tell me that no one has a relationship with God? And, and, and let me tell you how real this is for me. And, and I know y'all, you know, some of y'all, y'all sensitive, y'all emotional. Oh, I can't believe she's talking like that right now. I'm going to give you a prime example. I was going through something. I didn't tell anybody. I, I didn't get up on here and blah, blah, blah. I didn't do all that. But you know, one of my students picked me up, or she picked me up in the spirit. And when I got my phone and I read it this morning, it was just what I needed to read. Now, she don't know. We didn't talk. And we're not far from each other. She's in Jacksonville. We're not far from each other. I'm in Orlando. And we didn't, we haven't talked for about a couple, maybe two, three weeks, should be told. And she picked me up as if she was here. She picked me up as if God had told her. And hold on, I looked at the time. She wrote it at 3 a.m. in the morning. So that means that she had to be conversing with her Lord. And God said, what? My servant, Deanna, I need you to encourage her. This is not to attack nobody, attack his friends, his family. I'm trying to get y'all to wake up. Y'all not connected to God the way y'all need to be. Point blank. There is not anything I don't know what's going on with my family and friends. Now, whether I reach out and tell them, that's a different story. Because sometimes people don't believe you. They think, woo, out there. But nevertheless, when, when you have a connection to God, God should be talking to somebody. And even if they don't call you, God will say, pray for them. Pray this, pray that. All I'm saying is that the body of Christ, y'all don't see what's happening because y'all don't understand the signs and the times. These are the signs and the times. God is trying to tell us to wake up. How is it that you don't know your sister and brother hurting? How is it that you don't know they're in need? How is it? Man and woman of God, I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you why, why. Everybody running after a time. Everybody get up on here. I haven't been, I haven't did a video, I don't know, maybe a month, month and a half. Y'all don't notice that? Let me tell you why. I had gotten to a point where, and I'm going to be very transparent because I don't know how to shake and jive. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I got in the point here where it felt like I had to do a video. I, I got to stay before the people. I gotta, I'm going to be transparent because y'all need that. And and something started to, in my spirit, God said, Deanna, watch that spirit. I said, God, what you say? He said, watch that spirit. Because I see it in most of you on here. Or may I say, most of the leaders. They get on here, and this is their hire. Y'all don't hear me. They get on here, and, and this is their, their platform. They get on here, let me tell you something. I don't need a platform to serve him. Hallelujah. Because my platform is wherever I go, wherever I am, whoever I'm with. That's my ministry. That's ministry. Ministry is just not getting up on here. Oh, everybody, and, and trying to be this great phenomenal. Ministry is life, honey. Oh, come on, somebody, don't get it twisted. Because that's what's happening. Everybody want to be seen. Everybody want attention. Truth be told, the power is behind and in the closet. The power is on your face. The power is praying in the secret places. That's the power. But, but hold on, because ain't nobody really want the power. They want the prestige. They want the honor. They want the platform. They want the accolades. They, they, you, you, you know what I'm saying. Get out of here. That's not what the body of Christ needs. The body of Christ needs a true word from God. And the only way you can get that is through revelation. It's through isolation. It's through consecration. We're not being consecrated as a whole. You got people seeking attention. Or PayPal me. Oh, come on, I'm just going to be honest. It's all about, well, I'm on, I'm on here ministering. Y'all should send me something. Now, I'm going to talk about that too in a minute. Y'all want to hear what I'm saying? By the cross, then lost the daughter, by the Christ, then lost their mind. Y'all running after this and prestige and accolades and followers. And that's not going to get you into the heaven of God, into the kingdom of God. Oh, no, it's not. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This is a relationship thing. 
This is a power thing. I got to stay connected because I don't know who I'm going to have to touch. I don't know who I'm going to have to pray for. I don't know who's going to need me to stand in the gap. The Bible said prayer of the righteous had valid much. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This man suffered privately, and now everybody is talking about him publicly. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. It's too late. Now just pray that he made it in. That's what you're doing. I'm just, I, I, I don't get on here a lot. I post and I'm gone. But the stuff that I do see in my timeline literally bothers my spirit, vexes my spirit. Because I see, I see people fronting. I see people playing with God. I see people on here trying to, I don't know what they're trying to do, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know. But it don't look like it's God. Really? My prayer is that we come back to God for real. My prayer is that we go to the secret places of God for real. My prayer is that y'all stop fronting. My prayer is that y'all stop running after a dollar. Most of you don't even know how to serve God. You know of God. You read this Bible a little bit. Oh, come on, somebody. But y'all really don't worship God in spirit and in truth. Because if we did, we would see more power in the church. We will see more healing in the church. We will see more deliverance in the church. People wouldn't be committing suicide. People wouldn't be dying. Tell me in this Bible, in the Old or New Testament. Well, come on, somebody. This is a question, and I want you to put it in the comments. Don't play with me. And you should already know the answer for those that you didn't know your Bible. Why is it that in this Bible, not one pastor committed suicide? Yes, I'm mad. Not one. So that lets me know the body of Christ is out of order. We're not guarding each other. We're not loving each other. We're not praying for each other. Y'all sitting up there acting crazy with each other, jealous of each other. Don't want to support each other. And when you do, you want something back. Truth be told. Killing each other with your tongues, with your actions. Where's the love? Because God is the God of love. Two things God will always be before anything else. Before he's the God of blessings, because I know y'all like blessings. He's a God of order, and he's a God of love. And if you have not order, and you have not love, you have no God. Stop lying. Because anybody can perform. Anybody can preach and teach truth. Be told the devil do it all day long. Mm -hmm. You know the scripture better than us. Uh, yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad. But it's a righteous anger. Because when y'all gonna stop playing? When y'all gonna see that everything costs? Everything costs. Everything you do. Everything you don't do. You don't see it? Do your job, man and man or woman of God. Do your job. What is your job? Your job is to help the people by being a man, a true man, and a true woman of God. Half of you don't even want to wear the holy robe. Y'all sitting up there. I see them old fake videos. Having services everywhere now. That they don't even care. That they're heavy. They're wherever. However. No holy robes on. Flesh and a mess. Fake tongues. Fake preaching. Fake teaching. That is not of God. Have the audacity to act like you a preacher and a teacher. Of what? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But let me tell you some good news. God is raising up some true men and women of God. They're going to go in your so-called churches and tell you, you are not of God. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And it is. It is closer than you think. Persecution is closer than you think. I pray we get it together. I pray we do. I only tell you the truth because I love you. 
And I've always been passionate about this because technically, when you are true men and women of God, this is all you got. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's just the truth because people, they fickle. One day they with you, next day they not. Hallelujah. But God said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Hallelujah. And I'm a witness of that. But this thing got to be real. This thing got to be real. Because it'll kill you. Y'all want to hear what I'm saying? Some of you are pretending to be true men and women of God. And then y'all picking up apostleship, all kind of stuff. You know you ain't even ordained from. Do you don't understand? Whatever you call yourself to, then you call yourself through. What am I saying? The spiritual warfare is equated with the calling. And some of you are calling yourself something that you can't handle. Oh, no. As a matter of fact, I'm reminded of that scripture. Paul, I know, and Jesus, I know, but who are you? How is it that the demons don't know your name? But they know your game. But they don't know your name. Because when they really know your name, they tremble, hallelujah, as if you was Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just telling you what God told me to say. Praise God. God was saying, and, and I don't want anybody to be offended when you hear this name, but I got to be obedient. Y'all know I got to. God said, remember Eddie Long, Bishop Long. He served God in the beginning, but something happened. Flesh, my brothers and sisters. And that's not to bash that man's name or memory. But when God says say something, I'm going to say it. Hallelujah. You better remember who you are and whose you are. And stop acting crazy. Stop with the fleshly games. Y'all know what I'm saying. Some of you just go to church just to score. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say it like it is. Some of you go to church, you, you, you more horse in the church than out the church. Truth be told. Sitting up there playing games with God's people. That's God's daughter. That's God's son. Y'all playing some dangerous games, God says. See, let me tell you what's going on. Because y'all not seeing the wrath of God like right away, Y'all just doing stuff and think y'all getting away with it. I learned something a long time ago. You don't get away with nothing. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to say that again. You don't get away with anything. It's just when the time comes, because here's the thing. It's going to be sooner or later, God going to get you. And then you're going to be crying. But the same thing that you put out is the same thing that you must receive, men and women of God. Do you not know that to be true? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, God said to tell, tell you, whatever you're feeding, your temptation, you have to feed it some more, and some more, and some more, and some more. The temptation never gets full, you guys, but it does come to an end sooner or later. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. You will get exposed sooner or later. Be careful whose table you eat at. Be careful what you eat. And we're talking about in the spiritual sense. Because some of you eat at everybody's table. And some of you are eating at the table of warlocks and witches. Hallelujah. Be careful, thus said the Lord. Be careful. Be very careful. Men and women of God are dying. And I know everybody want to have a little, a little um, debate section of who going to hell, who going to heaven. God told me to tell you, you'd be surprised. Because the ones you think going to heaven may be going somewhere else. And the ones you think going somewhere else may be going to heaven. Mm. How dare you say where a person's gone? You have no knowledge and you are not God. Stop trying to play God. He don't need no assistant. The last assistant I heard got fired, which was the devil. Yeah, he got fired. God told me to tell you he don't need no assistants. He don't need no co-pastors, no associates, no apostles, no evangelists. He's just God all by himself. Hallelujah. He don't need you. He don't need assistance. He don't need no secretary. He don't need no court reporter. He's God all by himself. Hallelujah. God told me to tell you that demons are fallen angels. Some of you act like y'all don't believe in demons. 
All it is is fallen angels, the same angels he stole from heaven, the same heaven, angels he got to revolt against God's kingdom. They're right here fighting with us. And some of you church folks act like you don't know what demons is. Don't worry, you know what demons is. And if you don't understand what demons is, it's probably because you're playing with them too much. Because demons love other demons. Catch that event. And that's all God told me to say. So that's all I'm going to say. Woo, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I feel the presence of God, hallelujah. So I love you. I don't mean any harm. But I'm going to say what God said to say. Y'all know that. And I just pray that y'all replay this. Because sometimes you hear and you listen, but you don't really hear and you don't really listen until the second time. Hallelujah. All right, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I love you with the love of Christ. Start loving each other back to life. Because anybody could tell somebody down. Anybody could talk. Anybody could do all that. It's easy to do that. But why don't you try praying for each other? Girding each other. Labor for one another. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know what I love about this Bible? They did it right. They were pure men and women of God. Nothing came between them and their God. And if you did, you'd lose every time. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Where are the ascend descendants of this Bible? Because we're the descendants. These are our ancestors. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it. Stop fronting. Because everybody see. They just don't say nothing. Or they talk behind your back. To be told. All right, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. God bless you. God keep you. Roll out soldiers, for that is who you are. God bless.